Hey everyone, um, I wanted to do a YouTube video of what it's like to be a single mom and how I got to be a single mom and so forth. Well, I got pregnant when I was 17 but gave birth when I was 18 and now I have a beautiful baby daughter. Um, his name is Loretta. She is four months old now. She was born February 17th of this year, 2015. And I couldn't be happier with her. But yeah, I feel like I should make this video of what it's like to be a young mom um, and to be a single mom on top of that. Um, I've promised this uh, video for a while. Um, I think back when Doretta was about two months old, I put a comment on Facebook saying um, if people are interested in what it's like to be a single mother. And so um, here's the, the video I'm making. Um, I want to get a camera. So once I have a camera, I want to show you like what it's like in a day. But pretty much she eats now every four to five hours, pretty consistent, and she doesn't want to go to sleep till one. So usually the night schedule is uh, she goes to sleep at one, and then wakes up at five, then wakes up at eight, but just to change her diaper, and then goes back to sleep and uh, wakes up at around nine and gets hungry then or a little bit later. So the night is not too bad. When she was newborn, she was waking up every two to three hours. So that was a little bit harder. And but I don't know, now it's getting a lot easier. Um, well, okay, I guess first I should go back to why I'm a single parent. Well, when I was 15, um, I was a freshman in high school. And I was very rebellious as a teenager, and so um, I was living here with my dad in Mexico. And because of poor behavior, my uncle in Austin decided to take me in. And that was about two to three days before um, Halloween in the year 2011. Well, um... I met this guy who I really loved, and his name was Ryder Featherstone, and I thought that we were going to get married together. We talked all the time, we had a really good relationship, um, his family seemed so nice, and I just, I felt happy. Uh, growing up, I felt alone a lot because um, I just felt like my parents didn't pay too much attention. Um, not that they didn't, I'm just talking about my own personal feelings. Um, anyway, so I just always felt alone and I really wanted to feel loved. That was very important to me. So when I met Ryder, um, I was just very happy. I loved having a boyfriend. I saw him every weekend and we seemed really happy together. Um, then in 2013, I decided that I wanted to move in with him. And so I did, and my family wasn't okay with it, um, because I was only 16, um, so I moved in with him, and I got separated because I wanted to talk things out with my family, with my aunt and uncle who I was living with, and so when I did, they separated us, and... And then I went six months here in Mexico. And that was so hard because I really missed Ryder. I thought of him all the time. Um, 
We talked a lot and everything just seemed to be horrible without him. I just couldn't wait to go back. I counted down the days for six months. And by the time it was uh, May of 2014, I moved in with him again. Um, and when I did, we had some issues. Um, I don't really want to go into it because I don't want to bash him. Or, you know, I just... Any, anyways, we had some problems. Um, and I got pregnant at the same time. And I also broke my hand. So I went to Mexico, back with my dad, so I can get surgery on my hand, which you can see right here. And I don't really want to go into why I broke it or how I broke it, because it's kind of an embarrassing story. So I would really rather not. But anyways, I broke it and I got surgery. And about one or two days after the surgery, which was in July, um, July 14th or something like that, um, I got a call from Ryder saying that um, he was tired of paying for me. And I was really heartbroken. I really thought that we were going to be together forever. And I thought that we were going to raise this baby together, but it just didn't turn out that way. So I got, um, I got that call. And then a day afterwards, um, he said that he wanted to marry me. And I said, well, you should get your priorities straight. straight. And because I was so mad that he would kick me out, I told him I was in love with someone, even though I wasn't. And because of that, he stopped talking to me. Uh, he stopped talking to me in August of 2014. And that just crushed me. I know that things aren't perfect. I know that me and him had... We, we both played our part. I'm not innocent. He's not innocent. But I feel like we both did love each other. And it was very hard, at least for my part, that he left. And then I spent the whole pregnancy with my dad. And I just... And I just did the same routine, just kind of, I didn't really go to school, but I, I mean, I didn't go to classes like in school, but I did do some courses to try to finish my GED. Um, well, so, so the months went by, just the same, taking care of myself, seeing the gynecologist, seeing how my baby was doing. I will say though that the first time I had an ultrasound, I almost cried because I felt that my baby looked a lot like my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, Ryder. And that that was just really hard. I even now still think that she looks a lot like like Ryder. And when I see her, I do think of our times together. I mean that was a lot of time. That was at least at least two and a half years together. I've loved him since I was fifteen, and I'm nineteen now. Well, when she was born, um, my dad came with me to the hospital, and my cook, and that was really nice. My mom passed away in um, October of. 2011, so I only have my dad, but I'm glad that he came, and so she was born a healthy, I would say, 20 inches, 52 centimeters, 
um, in about um, eight pounds. She was born three kilos, 650 grams. And since she was born, everybody has said that she's the most beautiful baby they have ever seen. Or, well, maybe not. I'm not, I'm exaggerating the part of ever seen, but the most, the very beautiful, she was a very beautiful baby. And very healthy, for the most part. And when she was born, I was really sad because I was sad and happy. I was happy to have her, but I was sad that I thought, wow, I'm going to do this alone. Um, so for a whole month, uh, my cook stayed with me the nights and the day. So that was so helpful. I really appreciate it. Um, I can't put it into words how much that meant to me, that she was there throughout the whole process. And right after I gave birth, she bathed me. Um, so that meant a lot. I, also, I want to say part of the reason why I'm doing this video is so I never forget any of these details. Because I've been told that um, after some time passes, you forget some details. So that's also part of the reason why I'm doing this. And so uh, for one month, my, my cook helped me with everything and then after the words I would stay alone in the night uh, with Loretta my daughter and that was hard because my dad was here but he's 74 years old and he can't carry her much because his back hurts and she's heavy for him so she, he would grab, him, grab her maybe if I went to the bathroom for five minutes or something. But I, it was pretty much like I, I was alone at night and in the day, I'm, if, especially in the weekends. So I started staying the night alone and the weekends alone. Uh, but I wouldn't say completely alone because about four or five times I did call my cook because... I was really nervous, you know, before I had Loretta, I hadn't really been around babies. Um, so I was just a re really nervous and sometimes when she started crying, I didn't know why and then how to help. So I will say that she did come about four or five times. But throughout the process, I think being a single mother or single father, either one, I mean, in my case, it's a single mother. It's so hard because at nighttime, for example, you're so tired and the last thing you want to do is wash bottles, for example, or I mean, if you're, if you're bottle feeding, I have to because Loretta can't have any dairy or lactose. So I have to, you know, do the bottles or, you know, get the water or just anything like, you know, you can't just be taking turns at night, like saying, OK, if you have a partner, you could be like, OK, you wake up once and then I wake up once and so forth. But when you're alone, you have to understand that it's always you all the time at night. Everything she needs, it's you. And that was so hard. I Some nights I was so tired that I debated what I was more, hungry or tired. Because I would get so hungry, but I would be so sleepy at the same time. I would have to see which one wins, you know. Um, and sometimes I would go, you know, one or two days without showering because I just don't have time to shower. And well, anyways, my baby is right here. She is wide awake. So I guess I have to cut this video short. But so I will say that I deeply appreciate everyone who is a single parent. It is very hard work, but it's really rewarding because all of her smiles, all of her laughs, Everything just goes to me, so I feel double the love, almost. And that's, I think, rounds it all up. Um, I, as I, I'll remind you again that once I get a camera, I will go, you know, 
throughout the stages of the day to show you pretty much what it's like. But this is kind of just an overview. And I really hope that you guys appreciate the video. And, well, I guess everyone will ask, would I, you know, would I recommend someone that young, you know, have a baby? And I would say yes and no. It really depends. Um, one thing that you do lack is just freedom. You know, just, you see your friends going out to parties, you see your friends doing things, and you know, you have to stay home. So, that is really hard. Um, but the reason why I say no is because I was really rebellious as a teenager, and now I've calmed down because I have a motive in life. So, in that way, I'm so glad that I'm a mother, because I have someone to to motivate me and so yes that pretty much rounds it all up I'm sorry it's such a long video I really hope you enjoy it and have a nice afternoon or day or morning wherever you are and have a nice <laughs> well oh my goodness okay I just said that but I, as I said again, I hope you enjoy, enjoy the video. Bye.